¿Qué tal, queridos amigos? Today we've got a very interesting episode. We'll be learning about the word despacito. We'll learn all about how we can use this word in the Spanish language. Okay, here we go. Let's do it despacito. Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? And welcome to Learn Spanish World. Today, we are going to learn how to use this word here. The word, the word despacito. I'm sure you're already familiar with this word. I mean, there's a lot of uh, songs that use this word. And there's a lot of expressions which can actually use this word to express ideas, uh, to give directions and receive directions and so on. So, first of all, before we learn uh, examples to how we can use the word despacito in English, we are going to learn how to pronounce this word in the proper manner. So, despacito, it is composed of despacito, four syllables, despacito. Now make sure that when you pronounce the word despacito, you do not pronounce it as despacito. In Spanish, the O doesn't have the sound O, but it sounds like an open O. Despacito. Despacito. Muy bien. So now we are going to learn how we can use the word despacito in the Spanish language. Muy bien amigos, we are back with the word despacito. The following examples are very useful, particularly taking into consideration that many of you may be learning Spanish from, um, maybe learning Spanish recently and may need sometimes to request or ask a person to speak a little bit slowly. So this is when the word despacito comes in handy. We combine it with the verb to speak, to talk, which is hablar. So, if you want to ask someone to speak slowly, you would say, habla. Now, remember the H in Spanish is silent, so we do not pronounce it as habla. That would be incorrect. We pronounce it as habla despacito, which means speak slowly. Habla despacito. Speak slowly. And we can embellish this sentence. We can even add Habla despacito, por favor, which is obviously more polite. Speak slowly, please. Habla despacito, por favor. Okay, let's move on. If you want to be more specific in relation to what language you want to hear spoken slowly, you can say, habla español despacito. Speak Spanish slowly. So, as we already mentioned, by adding the word por favor, we actually uh, request the person to speak slowly in a polite manner. It doesn't come across as a command. So, next one. Habla español despacito, which means speak Spanish slowly. Habla español despacito, speak Spanish slowly. And we can always add the please at the end. Habla español despacito, por favor. Speak Spanish slowly, please. Next example. Habla inglés despacito, which means Habla inglés despacito, which means Speak English slowly. And as we can see here, por favor, we already know that por favor means please. We would say Habla inglés despacito, por favor. Speak English slowly, please. So as you can see, the word despacito has many useful uh, uses that we can actually utilize whenever we're conversing, discussing anything in Spanish, or even requesting for someone to speak slowly. Um, one of the biggest frustration of people that learn uh, any given language is that sometimes the native speakers speak very, very fast, and it, it's a little bit difficult, hard to understand. So, by asking somebody who speaks Spanish very fast, you could say, habla despacito, por favor, 
Speak slowly, please. Okay, so let's move on and let's see a few more example of how we can use the word despacito. Okay, muy bien. So here we got two more examples uh, as to how we can use the word despacito. Now, take into consideration that these examples are very basic. They are more sophisticated ways of expressing the same thing. But our goal here is to communicate. So, keeping that in mind, we are going to um, concentrate with these basic examples. Another way we can use the word despacito is whenever we want to request somebody to repeat something slowly. In order to request someone to repeat something slowly, we can simply request this by asking, repite despacito. Repite despacito. The person will understand that you are asking him or her to repeat it slowly. Next example is whenever we want to ask someone to repeat something slower. So we would say, repite más despacito, which literally means repeat it more slowly. Okay, now in English, we tend to use slower instead of more slowly. The literal translation would be repite más despacito, repeat it more slowly. So repeat slower, please. Repite más despacito. Repite más despacito. Muy bien, amigos. Keep up the good work. You're doing just fine. Keep it up. If you continue listening and learning, you will end up speaking Spanish really well. Okay, so let us continue with some examples of despacitos. If you wanted to ask somebody to walk slowly, you would ask, camina despacito. Camina, composed of three syllables. That means walk. Walk slowly. Camina despacito. Next one. You're in a restaurant and one of your friends is really hungry and is eating like a savage. It's kind of embarrassing you. So you want to ask him, eat slowly. So you would ask, come, that means eat, come despacito. Come despacito. Eat slowly. Next example. Let's say that you are somewhere in Mexico or, or Peru or Venezuela and your friend is driving like a maniac and you're very, very scared. He's doing 200 kilometers per hour. So you want to ask him to drive slowly. So you would tell him, conduce, which means drive, conduce, three syllables, conduce despacito, drive slowly, conduce despacito. And finally, the next example that we have in here, it's this one, which is very useful, particularly for all of you learning to speak Spanish. Whenever you find a friend who speaks Spanish very fast and kind of, you know, you get lost and you want to ask him, can you please slow down? Say it slowly. You would tell them, dilo, which means say it, dilo despacito. Say it slowly. Dilo, two syllables, dos sílabas, dilo despacito. Very important. I think it'd be a good idea for you to memorize all of them, but particularly this one. Dilo despacito. Now, let's see if you remember. Do you remember how can we be polite whenever requesting this to our friends? How can we make these sentences sound a little bit more polite? What do we usually add at the end of Walk slowly, because that sounds like a command. Walk slowly. We don't want to come across as rude or abrupt. So we would say, walk slowly, please. Well, in the same manner, in Spanish, we would say, camina despacito, por favor. Por favor is such a short word, but it works wonders. Camina despacito, por favor. Walk slowly, please. Come despacito, please. Come despacito, por favor. Come despacito, por favor. Eat slowly, please. Conduce despacito, por favor. Drive slowly. Dilo despacito, por favor. Say it slowly. Welcome back, amigos. So we'll continue with some of the examples that we are learning using the word despacito in Spanish. 
Okay, so here we got three more examples. They're all important, they're all uh, very useful. Uh, the first one is open slowly, which is abre, abre, which means open, despacito. Abre despacito. Open slowly. Next one, cierra. Now the R has that rolling sound. Rrr. Cierra. However, in some Spanish countries, the double R is not as strong as in others. For example, in some parts of Chile, uh, people can say cierra. Cierra despacito. Whereas in other Spanish countries, this is pronounced as cierra. Cierra despacito. I'll leave it up to you. Whichever is easier for you, you will be understood anyway. Okay, so cierra, you, you will be understood anyway. So it's, it's not a big deal. Cierra despacito. Close slowly. And once again, if we want to be polite, we're not going to tell somebody, abre despacito, open slowly. We will say, abre despacito, por favor. Cierra despacito, por favor. Just like we would in English, we would say, open slowly, please. Close slowly, please. Now, the third sentence is very useful also. Despacito y con cuidado. Slowly and carefully, please. Despacito y con cuidado, por favor. Let's say you're moving houses and you hire a company to move all your furniture. And these people are grabbing your expensive furniture and throwing it around and you panic. So you would tell them in Spanish, firm but politely, despacito y con cuidado, por favor. Slowly and carefully, please. So once again, all these sentences are very important, but this one in particular could be very handy. Despacito y con cuidado, which means slowly and carefully. Muy bien. So, let us um, continue. Um, how are you going there? I hope that uh, you're taking in a lot of um, information and knowledge so that this can help you communicate more effectively in the Spanish language. So, let's see some more applications for the word despacito. Aprendo, which means I learn. Aprendo, three syllables. Aprendo español despacito. That means I learn Spanish slowly. Aprendo español despacito. One more time, listen to me and see if you can pronounce it. Aprendo. Aprendo. If you find this word difficult, just break it up into syllables. Aprendo. Then join the first two syllables together. Apren, apren, and finally join the third syllable. Aprendo, aprendo. Aprendo means I learn. Aprendo español despacito. I learn Spanish slowly, but with confidence. Okay, another sentence which you can find very useful is the following. Explain slower. Explica más despacito. Let's say that I'm explaining everything very quickly, very fast for you to grasp. So you want to ask me to speak and explain slower. So then you would have to ask, explica, which means explain. You can see there the uh, Latin connection. Explain, explica, más despacito, which means Explain more slowly, but in English we tend to say explain slower, okay? Same thing, explica más despacito. So here we got tres ejemplos, three examples of how we can use the word despacito. Okay, boys and girls, chicos and chicas, we are doing really well. Now the final examples using the word despacito. Súbete despacito. Get up slowly. Súbete. Three syllables. Súbete. Súbete despacito. Next one. Get down slowly. Bájate despacito. Bájate. Once again, three syllables. Bájate despacito. 
Get down slowly. Whisper slowly. Susurra despacito. In some countries, even though the word despacito means slowly, it can adapt the meaning of softly as well. Despacito in this instance can be used softly. In some places, like in Chile, people would say to you, susurra despacito, which means whisper slowly, but can also have the connotation of softly. Can also mean softly. Susurra despacito, whisper slowly, softly. Cierra la puerta despacito. This is a very useful one. You will be asked this many times. Close the door slowly. Cierra la puerta despacito. Cierra means close. La puerta, the door, despacito. That's right. You guessed it correctly. Despacito means slowly. Cierra la puerta despacito. You can also ask, cierra la ventana despacito, which means close the window. You can use this sentence with a wide range of different things. Lee despacito. Read slowly. Lee, read, despacito, slowly. And finally, escribe despacito. Write slowly. Escribe despacito. Muy bien, we've come to the last part of our lesson. En conclusión, in conclusion, we got these three examples. Aparca el carro despacito. Aparca means park the car despacito. Aparca el carro despacito. Bebe despacito. Drink slowly. Bebe despacito. Drink slowly. And finally, mira despacito. Look slowly. Mira, look, despacito. Slowly. Muy bien, amigos. Let us revise for the last time the last three sentences. Aparca el carro despacito, which means park the car slowly. Aparca el carro despacito. Número dos, bebe despacito. Bebe means drink. Drink slowly. Bebe despacito. And last one, Mira despacito, which means look slowly. Mira despacito. Mis queridos amigos, it was fantastic to have you here today. We'll continue learning more interesting words in the Spanish language and we'll see some useful applications such as the one that we've got here. It's been a pleasure having you. If this is your first time um, with us, if, if this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, please subscribe. Uh, share the videos with other people that may be learning Spanish. We're trying to upload as many videos as possible, but we need your support. So please give us a like down here. Click like, uh, subscribe, and share the video. In that way, we'll be able to produce and upload way more videos for you to help you learn Spanish. Muy bien, amigos. We'll see you next time. Hasta la vista. Thank you once again for watching our video. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and even better, subscribe. In that way, we can continue uploading more lessons for you.